Recently, I got an email from Amazon saying that I would be automatically enrolled in remote fulfillment with FBA. And here's why I do not like this program. So for one thing, I've actually been enrolled in this program before for Canada, but now they're expanding it to other countries too, uh, namely Mexico and Brazil. Here's why I don't like it. Uh, when you send stuff from an Amazon fulfillment center in America to another marketplace like Canada or Brazil or Mexico, all kinds of problems can come up. For instance, what if the address isn't right and they can't deliver it? Well, that's going to be on you. Um, if people don't like it or they want to return it, it's a big mess. Amazon, of course, makes you pay for it. Um, if there's some other issue that comes up, of course, it's going to be on you. I don't see much of a upside in getting extra sales in these marketplaces. For instance, in Canada recently, a lot of my Canadian customers, they've just been uh, returning stuff when they see where it's made in the United States. And that's because there's some major political problems between the two countries right now. So small sellers are the victim of this. Amazon, of course, wants to increase sales any way that it can. Uh, they want to force U.S. small sellers, third-party sellers, to take on the responsibility of becoming suppliers to these other countries. And frankly, I don't want to do that. So there's options to opt out on the, on the uh, remote fulfillment with FBA page. There's a button that says opt out. Now you can use that button or you can deselect these marketplaces here. You can see I've already done it for Mexico and Brazil. I may do it for Canada soon. I'm just gonna wait and see how things uh, shake out over the next couple months, but I may also cancel remote fulfillment um, with, with, uh, with FBA in the Canadian market as well. So that's my take on remote fulfillment with FBA for Amazon third-party sellers. If you have any comments, just leave them below.